Netflix just got renewed for season two, so, so congratulations. Exciting! <laughs> oh, I haven't even told my husband yet. I'm so excited, although I'll get home. And we home just home. got the news, yeah. and for both of us who've been on a uh, myriad of shows, this is our first time ever getting a second season. Yeah. It's so. My we first broke in the curse I mean, together. Yes. <laughs> when okay. when they launched the season and there was this whole new comedy block, a lot of people were saying, "Oh, they're taking a risk." All these new shows together. Uh, you know, did you feel pretty quickly though that this was like the right show and that it was clicking with the audience? You know what I felt? I I did. Um, I went and did this panel um, with Modern Family and The Middle at the Paley Center, and I remember sitting there and they showed all the shows and then we did this panel thing where we discussed the new show, whatever new shows and I remember thinking at that moment before they'd aired like oh this could really work like as a television viewer and a consumer of TV it's something I wanted to tune into so um I was like kind of not surprised I'm super excited about it you you're always like nervous but um but I think the shows are all really solid and I think they work well together and I'm excited about the ugly Betty thing too because I've always liked that show it's got America Ferrera. <laughs> She's a real star. Josh, uh, as the season's been going on, we've been learning more about both your characters, and do you feel like uh, you're starting to get a, a good handle on who these people are and, you know, what the backstory is? We got the interesting info about your previous relationship. Right, definitely. I think, you know, and, and I, I knew that before we started, so I couldn't wait to express that the guy's just not a jerk. You know, he's, uh, he's been hurt, and there's, there's a reason, sort of, he's got his walls up like this. But, yeah, there, there's a... Um, as you go further and further, you can have scenes like between us, and you don't have to explain why these two are together. So it, instead of uh, always explaining, you know, situations, now we can just be together and tell mm -hmm. funny jokes. Yeah, new shows are hard. You know, obviously pilots are very difficult, and even really the first five episodes of a show where they're trying to just like reintroduce the characters every time they come on screen, so that you know Joe Schmo at home who's tuning in for the first tuning in for the first time knows what's happening. Um, but once you move beyond that, and you're able to see that Lori's beyond just being like, woo, my boobs are out. Like, you know, that she's got some depth to her and that and, and that she's, yeah. you know, and that she's a real, you know, giving these characters three dimensions, which is something that you can only do as the time goes on. And, you know, I feel incredibly blessed that we're getting a second season because too often, you know, networks are, are very quick to cancel shows. Um, when they don't feel like the numbers are there and, and you don't get to develop into what how great shows could be. I mean, even you look at Freaks and Geeks, like mm -hmm. you don't know what, mm -hmm. that show was already so good and where could it have gone if it had gone further. Um, can you talk about what's to come? What are some of the episodes you've shot? Well, uh, one, one storyline that surprises a lot of people, but it, it involves these two. Yeah, Grayson and Laurie mm -hmm. have a gets, little uh, gets rendezvous. A gets a little messy. Mm -hmm. Two adults, mm -hmm. ships passing in the night, and <laughs> things ships. happen, and um, they uh, they uh, get together. They get together a little bit. Mm -hmm. I, it's been interesting because I always wondered. I mean, it's like your character. You could, he could get together with Courtney's character, but he could just as soon get together with Busy. Is it? Or maybe to, both. Or maybe both. You know. Yeah, we'll <laughs> see. Lucky guy that he is. I mean, come on. <laughs> 